The 101 is a much harder target than the 100, and there are just two rules you need to keep in mind. The first rule is to not stop moving, and the second rule is to not forget rule number one. Pretty simple that way. Alright, the first thing you want to do here is get close to these few turrets on the outside here. You can actually grab between two and four of them just from the outside here before the target really gets bad and you have to not stop moving. Just make sure you're outranging those ones or approaching the dead zone of these missile turrets right here. I'm probably going to mess up the dead zone a few times in this target right here. Now that things are moving towards you, you want to make sure you are not stopping and make sure you're kiting these things, which means staying at max range. And just keep shooting at them, keep doing damage to everything around there, and don't let the drone start spawning from that gluttony right there, or the phantom gluttony as it may be. If drones do get towards you, you can always press zero to expand out and kill all five ships, or four ships in my case, which are closest to you here. Now that these are good here, we're going to make sure we kill these two turrets by outranging them, that's great. And if we get anything close to the center right here, these two Stormbringer missiles start shooting, and that's when you can't stop. So, but sort of drive-by here is the general style of this target here. Just try and drive past things and shoot at them, you'll do pretty good right here. I like to focus on the things that actually do damage to me, which are the missile turrets I just killed right there, those two on the side. From them, you should be able to outrange these short-range corrosive ones right here, the very large corrosive ones you want to make sure you are staying moving again, and keep shooting at them, they go down pretty easily. We do have a ship right here, let's get close to this guy, start shooting at him, get a few volleys off and moving him up. Once we get close to this missile turret, we do want to make sure we're not taking more than one volley from the missile turret, or your pancreative damage will be pretty high if you get to that point. Now, here's another missile turret, focus on this one here, you should only take a few shots from that. How many actually hit you will depend on your evade and really how lucky you get, so just keep that in mind. Now you notice these red rings are landing pretty far behind my ships, which is great, because they do a lot of damage and are going to be 5-10 minutes every time you hit, depending on your upgrade level. Alright, I told you I'd mess up that uh, heavy firing arc heavy, heavy firing arc right there. Now we have a bunch of ships ships coming after you, those are really important to stay shooting that, and again you don't want those drones to get out of control here, which means you have to keep doing splash damage towards things there, and again, here's another heavy firing arc. Now this gluttony right here, shoot at that guy, get it down, press zero, target all the drones at the same time, and keep shooting everything down. These two things right here are uh, more heavy turrets. You can shift click one, hover over the other to see their path, and just move in close here where neither of them can get you, and start killing them as well as the corrosive turrets, you'll be in pretty good shape. Now, you'll notice that these two Stormbringers are not firing at me right now, which is why I'm okay to stop. You also want to make sure you're really never double backing, back, excuse me, you want to make sure you're never doubling back on yourself, because that's when they can get you right here. This turret right here is poking upwards, so I'm going to curve down to the uh, center or the left here while targeting the one that actually does damage to me, and then grabbing the next two right here, sort of the very similar path right here. Not going backwards is not going where I just was. It's okay to have a really big loop like the one I'm doing right now, because these things have landed there already. Keep shooting at them. If the short range one shoot at you, that doesn't really matter too much. Once again, get close to these two right here. If I stop, things are going to get really bad because that guy's going to land where I just was. It's kind of okay when you're at the very far outside of the target, but once you get closer, things do get pretty hairy right here. Alright, those two are down. Now, a big complaint I have with these targets is that these Stormbringer missiles do not have a minimum range, so they're going to keep firing at me even though I'm really, really close to them. And I am almost forced to take damage. I'm uh, really hard to outrun those things when you're so close to them because the flight time is so small. It's like trying to dodge a bullet, you know, 100 miles away versus right in front of you. All right, here's another turret. Take that guy, get that down. And now it's okay to stop because you killed those two big things here as long as these corrosive, very large turrets are not firing at you. So these ones just go down pretty quickly here, which is really nice. Alright, here we go, big turret firing at you, stay moving, a few shots off of that guy, and coming back for the other corrosive turret. And that's just about the target wrapped up, come back, kill this guy, and that will be it. I will definitely make sure I show my build, I think I forgot to in my last video, I apologize about that. But the build stock link in the YouTube description does show all of those all the time, so that should help you out enough if I ever forget something like that in the future. Like I said, this target is a bit harder. Damage is pretty even split, corrosive and penetrative. I do have on a Sea Serpent crew, which helps against penetrative. 
if you take a lot of burst of damage, a uh, silent hunters or a steel heads with the 20% across the board are the way to go. Total damage here was 28 minutes and 48 seconds, which is very consistent with what I've been getting between 25 and 30 with the updated build I do have going on here, and I'm just under 10 million points as you can see. The build I'm running is, and I remember I did show it, so you know what, I really just need a break. But here's the greatest heavy cruiser, cruiser. it is the difference that I'm talking about. I'm using acid diffusion shells and Hyper 30. A lot of people commented and said, why aren't you using this? I said Hyper 30 is better. What I didn't realize at that time is I think I like acid diffusion shells for the combat speed over the damage of the full focus choke. Although at this point, I probably would not make the refit change and I would keep full focus choke and Hyper 30. I don't really like acid diffusion shells enough to spend the 4.5 million, 6 million points to refit away from that one. Away from full focus choke into acid diffusion shells, I wouldn't do the change again, but I'm not going to spend another 4 million tokens to refit back. And again, here's the other build on here for consistency. If you do have any questions, go ahead and let me know. If you have any comments, I'll make sure to answer those. Thank you, as always, to everyone whose name appears on screen now. And until next time, this is Derby, signing out, helping you be a better pirate.